to Kronk. Kronk gets around one. He steps second. Oh, wow, Cooper Kronk. We're in scoring range for the one-pointer. I think we're going to get it to Jonathan Thurston. His name is Argos, you're up. What is going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero back again with another episode of Rugby League Live 4 Newcastle Knights Coach Career Mode The Rebuild. Thank you for joining me as always. Now, in this episode, we are doing something that I didn't think we'd get the chance to do, but we're doing it. We are playing State of Origin because God Zero, your boy God Zero, is now the coach of the Queensland Maroons. So hopefully we can get the job done. Now, having a look here at the lineup, there are a couple of players that are injured, so we're going to make some changes. We're going to put Cam Munster in. And I'm thinking Corey Oates will bring in as well. I think that's about it, really. Anyway, if you are enjoying the Rugby League Live 4 upload series on the channel, guys, be it the coach career or the rookie career, smash that thumbs up button to show your support for the channel like you have been. If you are new and this is the first video you are catching on the channel, be sure to subscribe and become a part of the God Zero Nation as well. We are growing each and every day, and that is because of all the support that you guys throw behind the channel. So thank you very much for that. Hit that notification bell too, guys, so every time a brand new video comes to the channel, you guys are made aware of it straight away. My social media links are down below in the description box. I've got a Facebook page you can go hit up. I'm going to start running polls and all that good stuff on there. So make sure to go like that. And hit me up on Twitter too, guys. I'm extremely, extremely active on Twitter now. At one point, I didn't even use Twitter. Since the YouTube channel has been growing, I've been using it full on. So hit me up there with any gameplay suggestions or just overall comments or even talk about the meaning of life. Guys, who knows things. Hit me up and chat to me, guys. I'm just going through and selecting the teams for the state of origin game and for the next newcastle knights game but this episode is only going to be state of origin because i think it's big enough to hold its own we are so close to recruiting new players to the team as well guys so stay tuned for that but i'm going to do all this good stuff because this is going to go on for a little while longer and i don't want you guys getting bored so through the power of awesome editing we are going to skip ahead to the match at hand, Queensland Maroons versus the New South Wales Blues, match number one. Here we go. Shazam! Absolute magic, I told you. Here we go, guys. The Maroons versus the Blues. I know State of Origin for the Rugby League Live 4 video game has been blowing up on YouTube. So I hope this match hits that sweet spot, guys, and you guys are keen to check it out when it comes to... The state of origin my house is kind of divided because the missus goes for new south wales blues i go for queensland maroon so it's a bit of a head clash there but i'm very confident we can get the job done i didn't think we'd get the chance to ever do a state of origin in the coach career series but here we go hopefully we can get the job done it would break my heart ending game number one with a New South Wales win. So here we go. Cam Smith to start the game off with a kickoff to the New South Wales Blues. Hopefully we don't kick it dead like we have been so many times. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's great. Great. Give him a big gap straight away to start the, the series off. That is awesome. Lock it down, Queensland. Lock it down. If you have any gameplay tips or hints or anything, guys, let me know in the comment section below. There are a few of you that have given, been giving me some help and some ideas on how to better the gameplay. And some of you are new subscribers as well, which I, I'm finally glad to pick up some subscribers for a game that are so active in wanting to give me feedback straight away and give me some help so thank you so much for that guys if you do know anything as i said just let me know in the comment section below i know some of you are getting a little bit uh a little bit perturbed with seeing me just trying to run lines all the time and not pass the ball around so i've been trying to get the ball moving a little bit more by hand not in this episode but in episodes moving forward you will see a lot of uh, a lot of movement with the ball 
passing the ball around and getting other players involved. I just find it easier running those lines now that I know how to do it. And as you can see, I'm, I'm not too bad. Not, not too bad for someone who only a month or so ago had absolutely zero idea what they were doing. I thought that was going to be a forward pass for a second then. Oh, no. Drop him. Get the tackle on for a line dropout. Let's go, boys. Drive him back. And I've got some idiot running into the crowd. I think that was Gagai. I'm not sure. Shut it down. Shut it down. We have the signing of new players coming up so close, guys. So if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. So once that episode does come out, you guys can check it out. I've got my eye set on three players that I want to bring in. Three main players. If I can get one of those three, I will be extremely happy. And I'm going to give you guys a heads up early. There is an option in this game where you can turn the, the settings on so you can get the player you're looking for regardless of what you pay them. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat it with you guys. I'm telling you right now, I am going to have that turned on for this first trade period only because I'm still learning how the game works and we want to get the players we want to get to get the rebuild done. I know it's a bit cheaty, but we're only going to do it the one time just to get a feel for how the mechanics work. Moving forward after this trade period and any other trade period after that, we are going to have it set on so the salary cap comes into play. I'm telling you guys now, so once we get to that episode, you guys don't get frustrated because I've pulled a good old Swifty and God Zero Nation gets a, a bit angry. So, that being said, Queensland Maroons, we're on the board with a try and Kemp Smith converts. That's the start we want. New South Wales looking to return the ball. Can we maintain? That's all we need to do. New South Wales have some pretty decent players that come in clutch. I mean, I think this year with the series, I mean, Queensland obviously won, and I'm very happy with that. But I think Fafita played a pivotal role for New South Wales. And when Fafita gets going, New South Wales are almost unstoppable. That's just my opinion. You guys could have a different opinion. But I think Fafita is definitely a barometer for the New South Wales Blues. Let's keep it going, Maroons. Let's keep it going. Oh, good step. Good step. I am nowhere near close enough to try and score a one-pointer here, so I'm going to have to try and get the kick on. No, I wasn't looking for a field goal. I was trying to get the kick on. Because as I've turned around and told you guys before, sometimes by the time you hold down, if you're playing on PS4, that is, if you hold down L2 and you're looking for a long kick, by the time you do it, there's a chance you're going to kick it into one of your players and get offside, or you're going to hit it into the opposition and they're going to be able to get an easier run. So I just hold the field kick button down, the field goal kick button, which is circle, and you just get a big clearing kick. Why not? I mean, the commentator's are always going to say, oh, that's a bad shot on field goal, but you still get a big clearing kick out of the congestion of the game, and that's what you want. But locking it down here, New South Wales, unable to break any lines. That is going to be off me, I reckon. God damn it! Don't let him through. That was good good defensive pressure. With a step. Lock it down. Let me know in the comment section, guys, if there's any players you want to see me try and target during the trade period. One of them, I'm going to give you a bit of a heads up, get you guys thinking. Actually, two of the players that I'm looking at bringing to the club play in the current Queensland Maroons lineup that I'm running with now. So... See if you can guess in the comment section below. And the Jace Dog is disqualified because the Jace Dog knows exactly who I'm looking at bringing in from the Queensland Maroons. So don't you even try to drop cheeky comments in the bloody in the chat down there and give it away to everybody else. Jace Doggity Dog. But obviously with that trade period, because we're looking at rebuilding, 
We'll bring a couple of older heads in just for a little bit of leadership and everything else, but we're looking at bringing in some youth as well because obviously in a rebuild, youth is the cornerstone of moving forward. So we might even target some Holden Cup players to bring in if they're decent enough. A couple of experienced heads, as I said, maybe two or three players over the age of 30 that can still offer a few years. And that's half time, guys. We're up by a try. Very good position to be in. We know New South Wales aren't going to lie down. And we've left the door open for them to still come back in this game. Let's going to have a look at the team management here. We might make a couple of changes to get some other players on. Definitely going to get Darius Boyd involved. And I think we're going to get Cooper Cronk on as well. So who are we going to swap here? Don't want to take Scott off. Do we take off Holmes? Do we take Holmes off? Maybe Chambers. We'll take Chambers off. Give Chambers a spell. And we're going to get Cooper Cronk in there. And I think we'll put him on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Look at the hint the J-Stog gave me. When you get the chance to make some interchange, do it. Because those interchange players are going to come on fresh and they're going to dominate. And I did it in a Newcastle Knights video where I threw a couple of players on. And they made a huge difference. So for people that are only just picking this game up, be sure to utilize the interchange. But here we go. New South Wales to kick off. Queensland to run it out. Is Gagai going to scoot or is he going to pass it? What do you guys reckon? Because Gagai is the man. He's going to pass it off to Thurston. Thurston's going to try and step around, but he's going to get dropped. Kem Smith to offload. Corbin Sims has it. He gets around one. He tries to get around two, and he gets dropped. Smith with the offload. Where's he going to go? He's going to go out to Kronk, and Kronk steps around one and then gets tackled as well. Shovel back out to Thurston, the man, the myth, the legend, Jonathan Thurston. It was good to see Queensland get up for him this year, especially after that injury. Here goes the kick, big kick. Big punt, that was good. Here we go. Time to go into lockdown mode. Also, guys, let me know in the comment section below. I've decided with the Newcastle Knights career mode, we're going to do two years, just like I planned doing with the AFL Evolution series. So how it's going to work, we're going to play and try to go back-to-back -back premierships. So if we win the premiership in our current season, we're going to aim to go back-to-back. -back. And if we do, the career mode will end for Newcastle Knights. However, the upload series for Rugby League Live 4 will not end because I do want to do a Melbourne Storm coach career mode purely because Melbourne Storm's the team I support in real life. And it'll be good to have a crack at them. We started off with the rebuild team and then we get to do a little bit of a, you know, something that hits the sweet spot for us and, and plays the club that we support, which would be good. So definitely let me know if you want to see more gameplay and even moving forward if we stop the rookie career if you want to maybe even see me play as a current player like i might even start it oh wow 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 absolutely blasted that out of the arena anyway as i was saying if you want to see me play as a certain player we might pick up a series as danger guy we could play as cooper cronk billy the kid Bevan French, I don't know, we could play as, you know, Aaron Woods, Tedesco, we can play as plenty of players. So let me know if you do want to see anything like that in future in the comment section below too, guys. Let's just start getting comments flowing. Some videos boom with the comments and some other videos not so much. Just start chatting with your boy, Godzilla. Start dropping some comments down there and just show some love and get, get the chat flowing. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God the full back was there to save the day. Greggy Inglis. Do not let them tie the game up now, Queensland. Oh, that's going to be costly. 
Thank God for that. Don't get me wrong, we are not out of the woods yet. But that was very costly. They had a chance there and they coughed it up. Got to get the ball moving, Queensland. Cam Smith's going to offload. Who's he going to go to? Good guy. He breaks one, gets tackled by the second. Matt Scott palms it off to Corbin Sims. He gets around one. He gets dropped by the second as well. Gained some good meters here, Queensland. To Kronk. Kronk gets around one. He steps second. Oh, wow, Cooper Kronk. We're in scoring range for the one-pointer. I think we're going to get it to Jonathan Thurston. Did we get the one point? Yes, we do. And that secures the win. Because even now, if we cough up a try, that one point's going to come into play. That's where the field goal in play gets clutch. And as you guys know, if you are already part of the God Zero Nation, I have no shame in picking up points whenever necessary. Once again, guys, if you are new and this is the first video you're catching on the channel, go check out all my other gameplays as well. Plenty of other stuff to go check out. And if you like what you see, get on board. Join the God Zero Nation. Help me grow. At one point, we were looking at getting 100 subs. We smashed that. We were looking at getting 150 subs. We sub we subbed that. God damn it. We smashed that. We've now set 200 subs as the bar as we try to sneak Billy Slater on the team right now. And Chambers comes back on too. But now we've reset it to 200 subs, guys. We're already up at this point to 162. It was only a week ago that we beat 150. So 12 subscribers already since that. So thank you guys so much for getting behind the channel. Let's get this channel above and beyond our expectations. I honestly didn't think I'd ever get 50 subs, to tell you the truth. And it was a little bit disheartening with all the videos I was getting out there and... You know, people would stop by and watch, but nobody wanted to stick around long term. And then all of a sudden, you guys just started showing some interest in everything I was doing, and it really lifted my spirits. And I cannot thank you guys enough for getting behind the channel, guys. There is plenty more to come from myself moving forward. So be sure to stick around for all of that. We're only moments away from the final siren. And it looks like the Queensland Maroons, there we go. They've locked down game one. To tell you the truth, I don't even want to go to game three. So we're looking at going to game two. Absolutely flogging them and just taking them in straight sets. So then match three is just a, a muck around match just for just for a little bit of fun. But Queensland getting the job done. As our first game as State of Origin coach, the boys stand up. Jonathan Thurston in the clutch with that one point just to make sure... That game is secured in case they manage to break lines and steal a try. But it was to no avail. Queensland, the better team on the day. As I said, guys, that's going to be it for this episode because I want the state of origin to stand on its own when it comes to the uploads. We don't want to be mixing state of origin and the normal series. I think state of origin is big enough to, to deem its own video. I really think. So moving forward, obviously... We're going to be playing a Newcastle Knights match. So we're going to be playing against Melbourne Storm in the next episode. Third versus fourth. So we're just maintaining that top of the board lead that we've got there. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you did enjoy this video, continue showing your support by absolutely smashing that thumbs up button, guys. If you are new... And this is the first video you were catching on the channel. Subscribe and become a part of the God Zero Nation as well. I told you there's plenty of other gameplays to go check out. And the God Zero Nation is growing each and every day because of all the support you guys throw behind the channel. So I cannot thank you guys enough. Hit that notification bell too, guys. Every time a brand new video comes out, you're made aware of it straight away. Social media links down below. You know where to go. I'm out of here, guys. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.